Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you this type of movie poster designing in Photoshop easily. So let's start the tutorial. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first, uh, I'm closing it up and going to the file and taking new options. And from here, going to the print options and the A4 type print and hit the create button. This one is the A4 paper and uh, we'll apply all the stuffs over here from here at first going to the file and place embedded options from here i'll provide you the paper texture download link in my video description so already downloaded that texture for you guys here is a white paper texture and press the shift and hold it and rotate this one and after that make this one according to the artboard perfectly match with the artboard size and hit the tick button and then right press and restylize the layer after that going to the file and place embedded options again and the model i download this one on spread.com and hit the take button right press and restylize the layer right press and convert to a smart object in case if you want you can change it out in future okay after that this one uh, just making it mask control or command i for the inverse mask and select this mask and making this one into white portion and right press over here going to the brush tool and after going to the brush tool going to this type of uh, like a uh, brush which is so another brush we have uh, you will apply that brush here is another splash make the size of the brush a little bit bigger okay Press Ctrl or Command T making it a little bit bigger. That's fine. The take button. This one, select the photo and going to the filter and going to the camera or filter. From here, make the brightness or exposure a little bit down, high contrast, and hit OK. And here, making this one like I want to remove that portion instead of the color and splatter of the brushes okay that's fine here is the eye selection or color selection tool i from the keyboard select the color and b from the keyboard and you can just give a little bit of that brushes not too much but a little bit i'll just make it like that and i from the keyboard give the color from here and here i from the keyboard and give the color a little bit not too much a little bit color you can apply over here it will be more dimensional okay that's fine so after that uh, here select this photo again going to the filter and going to the filter gallery from here i will apply another effects uh, it could be the this type of uh, cross link outlines and dark stroke whatever it is or uh, here some painting effects okay these effects and hit okay and from here uh, the light is uh, upgraded that means the overexposed control command a and exposure a little bit down and hit okay now that's good okay uh, we'll make this one in a group that's good and control command t and that's good and hit the tick button okay after that going to the file and going to the place embedded options uh, we have some collection of the movie uh, like uh, the footer and header like movie awards uh, etc so from here the awards will place over here the awards and again file and place embedded options from here the footer of the movie that's good and make it into like a dark or uh, color burn linear burn and going to the adjustment going to the levels make it mask and make it plain to the page yeah that's good now after using that here the photo 
I'll turn off the filter gallery. Yeah, that is fine. Just because of that is looking fake when you are using the filter gallery. You can use it if you want. If you don't want, you couldn't use that. It's totally up to you. And camera filter, if I turn it off, yeah. And the face is like glowing and the poster is glowing up uh, to the audience. That's good. And giving the name of the group, that is the girl. That's good. Controller command T and making it a little bit like this. Yeah, that's fine. Now time to give the titles. Going to the text tool and writing the name. Make the font bigger size. So like this and making it bigger. So the font was like cursive type font. Let's find it out that font. Here is that font okay that's good and make the font color according to this or uh, i used this type of color from here yeah that's good make the font size more bigger that's fine yeah just going to look on t making it bigger that's good and saving it out giving here the movie poster and saving this one into your directory and hit ok and upper side you can write down the characters those who are the acting in these movies like that's fine and saving it out easily you can make a poster which is really good and now time to add the gradient going to the gradient options from here we can use a gradient which is like this and changing up the color changing up this color and hit ok after that Going to the radial option, going to the reverse option, making the scale 400 and dither and hit OK. So here's the difference, little bit, but it's value adding. So here and the photo, the girl placing it into upper side. So you are making a creative movie poster like this. Now we'll uh, make it into the mock up saving it out and saving it into jpeg movie poster and saving it out okay that's fine mockup is the real view of um, like uh, the real life here the smart object double press over here we are going to the file and place embedded options and import your movie poster and just match with your and then saving it out and it will save in this window okay that's good and here the options clip if you want you can remove or keep this one you can change up the background it's totally up to you and you can write down over here and all that stuff like that so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i am asmr signing out stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers bye bye